Okay, coach, five to one win over West Virginia today. So coming off two midweek wins, now coming home, uh, just a good game all around today. Yeah, guys played well. You know, it was uh, you know we were able to come out really three days in a row, and, and we talked about executing the game plan. We wanted to kind of get our offense to force West Virginia to play defense in motion. We were able to do that early in the game, got some leads. Uh, we were able to put the ball uh, in play with two outs with guys in scoring position. Um, we got an error here or there uh, from West Virginia and put a couple extra runs on the board. And um, I just thought McMine did a great job. You know, he threw strikes today. That's two solid outings in a row. You know, the Cincinnati got a no decision. And then, you know, against a really good hitting club tonight versus West Virginia, you know, I thought that he dominated the strike zone, kind of kept them off balance. Uh, our defense turned uh, two or three double plays. And, you know, we got the ball at the end of the day. You know, at the beginning of the day, we just said, hey, somehow, some way, let's find a way to get Francisco the ball at the end of the game. We got him the ball, and we got a win. I talked a little bit about it. You know, McMinn really made it look easy out there today. Um, you know, maybe just showing just how good he really is. Yeah, he had a, you know, his fastball was in the mid-90s, you know, and his slider's a pro pitch. And, and I think what he had today is, he, you know, he was able to throw his change up in the middle innings uh, that really caused the West Virginia uh, players some uh, problems. And they, they didn't get good swings off of him in the middle innings. And I just think it was a tribute because he threw all three pitches for strikes whenever he needed to and uh, pitched ahead of the count instead of behind the count. This is two games in a row that are, are, are small ball ha, has really caused problems for the other team. That's got to be a good sign to see our offense you know, in top form. Yeah, it has to. I mean, that's how we have to play. We have to force people to make plays. And like I said, if uh, we take our pitches and we get our bunts down, we force them to come get the ball and make throws. And, you know, they struggle with it a little bit tonight. And West Virginia, they have, they have good defensive players. Um, and uh, we just forced them to a couple mistakes, and their mistakes gave us runs. And, that, and I think that was the difference over the last three days. Other teams' mistakes resulted into runs, not just base runners. Does a game like this maybe carry over into the next one then for tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we've been down this road with West Virginia. I, you know, it just seems like we've always gotten off to good starts for West Virginia on Friday nights. Uh, you know, Stray Lines pitched uh, well against them, Ellis in the past, you know, McMine tonight. You know, we're going to have to work real hard with the, with the rest of the pitching staff to contain their offense. I mean, that's the one thing with this. You know, this, this is another big inning team. You know, if you, if, 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 if you don't pick up the ball, you know, you walk them and hit them. You know, this is a team that can throw up a three, four, or five spot on you in a couple innings, and you're in big trouble. Uh, hopefully, we can go out and have command of the strike zone and continue to play good defense and, and force the issue offensively. You know, just kind of roll the dice tomorrow and see how it goes. So that's the wrap up from the ballpark at Plymouth. Final score on Friday: Villanova five and West Virginia one.